What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Callabot. In this episode, we're going to be retrieving some uranium, I guess, from a mountain. Um, if you'll notice, there's some nice fancy shadows now. We have upgraded to version 0.1.6 of the Callobot Gold Edition, which brings some nice graphics updates. So we have shadows, we have some anti-aliasing, anisotropic filtering. We have, uh, they started work on a new a high definition user interface. So that looks so much better than before. Um, what else have they added? They've added quite a bit of stuff in this update. Um, they've added code battles, which I guess is like, I don't know a lot about it. I just watched, there's like a video teaser of it and it looks like you program some bots and they kind of go head to head and they have to build an entire base, which apparently your whole base is, you can automate your entire base now. Um, there's new functions in the C bot programming language. Uh, your bots can draw on the ground. That's actually a feature that is in C bot, which is kind of like the sister game or program to this it's more um programming focused instead of game focused uh, it's hard to explain uh, but anyway uh, they've updated the satcom which is this thing so it has a lot more information inside of it now they've updated a lot of the code and all kinds of fun stuff like that it's like i think the satcom is like where you click all these different links and you can get information about all the different things. It's kind of like an in-game wiki. And uh, you can cancel building now. I've already mentioned the high-definition UI, the updated graphics. Oh, they fixed the autosave so it doesn't interrupt your game so much anymore. Because I remember when I was playing before, it would kind of, every time it autosaved, it would uh, pause the game for like three seconds. This is where I have to go up here. And on top of that, they've also done a bunch of bug fixes, so... Yeah, pretty good update. So, in this mission, like I said, we have to get a piece of uranium that's up here. So, if we go over here, there's a bunch of derelict stuff. And right over here, we have this guy here, which is a recycler. And what this guy does is recycles all these derelict things. Like, that's not derelict, but... So if you go over to this, hit the old uh, recycle button, he will turn this old vehicle into a titanium cube. Oh yes. That used a lot of power. Oh my sweet baby Jesus. So, let's see. I guess the first thing I should do is figure out... Can I... Hmm. Need to build a power generator somewhere. Which means I need a sniffer or something. That's a gunship. Although... What is this? Just waste. Thinking if I can build a recharge station. I mean, there's one over there. Maybe if I build right beside that one. I was just hoping to see if I could find one. I was a little further away from the ants. But if I build another recharge station right over here, in theory, I should be able to recharge over here. So let's try it. Go pick this up. Probably could have used. No, nah, that's a shooter. So if I put this over here. And I go try to make. Can I even make a recharge station? It's this power station. Now, this is obviously just a shot in the dark, but. One plus one is two, so if there's a recharge station there, then it would make sense that you could build one here. So I don't have a sniffer to test the ground, so just cross our fingers. 
Oh, it's charging. Nice. I don't think it tells you how much power is in the ground. But it's charging, so that's good. So now what I have to do is, let's see. I can go and get this another battery over here. I go bring that over here and I could put this battery in one of these shooters. I can go wreck those ants and get my uranium. Should actually be pretty straightforward. Oh, that was a way better autosave. 10 out of 10 would save again. Awesome update. Alright, so... If I put this in here... It is a shooter, right? Yeah. I'm thinking this mission is probably the... The gateway mission to... Um... Starting to use... Oh god. No! No power cell. Oh, this one. I just shot myself. Okay. Alright, so... Oh, shh! <laughs> e is not... Oh, man. Oh, it's been a while since I played this. Alright. So, what I have to do now, apparently, is reclaim another vehicle for another titanium and then build another... another, uh, recharge station. Because that ant just wrecked my recharge station. I think as soon as I built my... Sh as soon as I put the battery in my shooter, I think it aggroed that ant. Alright, so... I grab this and put this back over here again. That sucks. And then build this again. Gotta be careful. I'm gonna charge this shooter up and I'm gonna go on a rampage. here. Go charge up again. That's not bad. I don't think there's too many ants. Another battery pack over here. I had to guess, there's probably some hiding up here. Sketchy. are so hard to hit. Are you serious? Really need to reduce the screen shake a little bit. I wonder if I try from this view.
I wonder if there's like a nest or something as they come out of. I don't think so. So now. Oh, there's another one. Can he make it back? So close. Alright, so I think I killed enough ants. So now... Let's see, I don't have any winged grabbers. Let's go over here, let's see if there's any over here. What are you doing? I think he's respawning. Is that a respawn, I wonder? I have a feeling it is. Well, this is where I have to go. But it looks to me like there's no salvageable grabbers up here, so. We're gonna have to build a bot factory and a winged grabber. I don't know if this guy will fit on the pad. Where's my astronaut? Right in the way. Oh, oh, oh. Alright. Should be able to charge this guy here. Alright. So let's reclaim this. Let's go reclaim this one. Man, this thing is slower than the second coming of Christ. Holy. This might be too big to reclaim. Oh, maybe not. And let's recharge. Two should be enough to get a bot factory and a winged grabber. Charge this up a little bit more. Put this off to the side. I'm gonna need some NOS for this thing. Jesus. Okay, this is way over here, so let's see. I guess I can just put this like over here. It doesn't really matter, really. And then, we'll go over here. Oh, uh, well. Okay. So, it appears that I cannot build a bot factory. All right, let's build a radar station then. Then maybe we'll build a repair factory. Which I can put that, let's see. Where's that other titanium there it is? Defense turrets would be nice too. Um, it has to be kind of flat. Right here, maybe?
repair center. Does he need battery? No. Cool. Alright, let's get some more stuff. Can I reclaim this big thing? No. I'm gonna test something once I get this thing back over and recharged. I wanna see if I can pick up that titanium cube with the astronaut and then fly. I don't think you can. Otherwise, if you can't, that means there must be a winged grabber somewhere. Oh, that's not the right one. Must be a winged grabber somewhere that I can discover. And then use that. To go get the uranium. This guy needs a little bit of repairs. Can you even get on here? Oh. Oh, it looks like it used a little bit of the vehicle's own battery. Okay. If I go over he here. Oh my god. I pick up this. What is that? It's another shooter? Yeah. So if I pick this up. Can I fly? No. That's what I thought. So that means somewhere there is a winged grabber. So let's go looking. I don't think it's on the mountain. not carry a radioactive object, so that <laughs> rules out the old astronaut. See, there is nothing up here for wing grabbers. But I'm pretty sure I just have to drive all the way around, pick it up. I don't know. I don't know why they have all these energy cells around. It's making me think that there's something I have to do with them. Like I have to charge them up and like strategically place them or something? Alright, well, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to leave that cell in that one. I'm going to take this up here. And you can't drive up that. Okay. So where, where does the road start? Surely it's not way over there. Looks like it's right here. Alright. Jeebus. So I'm going to go up here, I'm going to grab this energy cell. And I'm going to bring it back down. In hindsight, I feel like I should have built a recharger over here. Be nice if there's another way over. I don't think there is. So hopefully one battery will get me up. Well, I guess on the way down I can just kind of take a shortcut down over the bank, so. Really, if I can get up there with one and a half batteries, it should be alright. Should be alright.
Question is, which way is the fastest way up here? I have to go all the way around? Okay, so I can get up this way. And then I'll have to turn here. And then go up here. I guess. Or no, I'm probably gonna have to come up this side. All right, well, let's see what happens. I don't want to leave my astronaut up here in case an ant spawns. Let's go chuck him down here. All right, let's see if we can make it. All right, so we finally got this. I did take a wrong turn. I drove right by this uh, little spot here. I had to turn around. It's kind of hard to tell when you're on the ground like this where you're going. So we can take this shortcut down and we'll roll this thing up onto the old spaceship. And then we should be pretty much done, I think, after that. Traveling here at the speed of smell. Alright, so that's that. Now we're just gonna bring this guy over. I'm guessing the next mission we'll be able to make use of some uranium, hopefully. Alright, guys. That's it for this episode of Colobot. See you next time.